It's a beautiful sunny morning in Sheffield. I've come for a walk in Never Edge and I've been thinking about Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 where Paul challenges us on our thought life. He says this, finally brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is anything excellent, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. And when Paul uses the word think, he doesn't mean have a brief passing thought. Paul is talking about a deep reflective meditation. Meditation is sometimes thought to be a process of emptying your mind, but Paul teaches us that good meditation aims to fill our minds with good things that inspire praise in us. We can also take the opposite of the verse to learn about what we shouldn't be thinking about. If Paul had told us what not to think about, the verse would sound like this. Finally, brothers, whatever is false, whatever is dishonourable, whatever is unjust, whatever is impure, whatever is horrible, whatever is scandalous, if there is anything detestable, if there is anything worthy of disdain, don't think about these things. The reason that our thought life is so important is that a negative thought life fosters negative attitudes, negative feelings and negative behaviours, but a positive thought life fosters positive feelings, positive attitudes and positive behaviours, and it will therefore affect the people around us. Sometimes you meet people who are so bitter and are so twisted and you wonder how on earth do you get so pessimistic, so bitter and so angry about life. And I think that it's because our thought life has a self-perpetuating effect on us. If you spend time thinking a lot about horrible negative things, that will create negative attitudes and negative feelings in you that cause you to think even more about negative things and people go to extremes. Therefore, if we can get our thought life right and we can think about good things, that will push us even more into thinking about the good and that will be reflected in who we are. So what things can we do to foster a good thought life? Start by meditating on the Word of God. Think about Jesus because everything good that Paul describes in Philippians 4 verse 8 are captured in the life, the ministry, and the death of Jesus. Meditate on him, meditate on his words, his teachings, his life, his example, his death. Spend time with people that inspire you, spend time with people that encourage you, spend time with people that drive you on in the faith. Read the biographies of faithful men and women of God. Avoid gossips and keep focusing on the good because it will make a difference in your life.